But let's just talk about the job Hugh Freeze is doing right now. Good gracious. So Walker White, four-star out of Little Rock, Arkansas, commits to Auburn over Clemson and Baylor, and there were at least four crystal balls in for him to go to Clemson. And as the day went on and everybody heard about his commitment, people were saying there is a quiet optimism about Auburn. But Auburn, in recruiting lately, has been burned every time you've gotten excited. Every time someone's gotten excited about something, they've been burned. It's almost It started to feel like Auburn can't have nice things. And getting a quarterback of Walker White's caliber this early in the cycle, and to hear him talk, to hear him talking about the guys he's going to recruit, to hear him talk about how he knew he was going to Auburn from the time he stepped on Jordan Hare, Oh, Jordan Hare Field, st- stepped into the stadium, stepped onto the field. It's an excited time to be an Auburn fan. Absolutely. What is Auburn getting in Walker White? First of all, athlete. Hellified athlete. If uh if uh Walker White were to play a different position, he could probably play linebacker. 6'4, 220, uh, cannon for arm. Every time he throws the ball, you see those deep balls when you watch his highlights. You're not seeing anybody waiting on it. He's throwing about the deep ball in stride with a lot of touch, and he's a big, physical, and fast quarterback. The guy is fast. And so a lot of people were making a big deal about, well, he's going to Clemson. Does Auburn even have a chance? And has Auburn been showing love showing love to a, enough other quarterbacks because they're not getting this guy? You know what this told me? What Walker White committing to Auburn told me over anything is that Hugh Freeze is a closer. Hugh Freeze called his shot, went, stepped behind the three-point line, and drained it all net. This doesn't sound like a commitment that's going to go uh, topsy-turvy. We're going to see a whole lot of the drama. Hugh Freeze got his quarterback. Hugh Freeze did the things that it took to go get his quarterback. He visited him twice. You got to think. There was a guy. You got guys like Aaron Nolan. Hell of a quarterback. Aaron Nolan probably, I don't know who's going to be the better of the two, but Aaron Nolan is a guy. And uh, Aaron Nolan was somebody that Auburn was, was recruiting on the previous staff. And Hugh Freeze had put out feelers about it. But for whatever reason, Hugh Freeze and his staff, Philip Montgomery and Kent Austin, they felt like Walker White was the best guy for their offense. He was the number one quarterback on the board far and away. And if you go back and you look at all of the times where Auburn has had, in the past two years where Auburn has had a number one guy on their board, it almost seemed like a pipe dream. It seemed like, yeah, yeah, they'll recruit him, but they won't get him. To have a guy like Aaron Nolan and knowing that if you miss on this guy, if you miss on Walker White, you're putting yourself in a position to lose out on a guy like Aaron Nolan. And I can't say enough about how good of a quarterback and how good of a young man Aaron Nolan is. And, you know, of course, I may be a little bit biased because he's from where I'm from. And, you know, I understand. I see more of him than the average person does. And he actually got an offer from Alabama. Uh, this past weekend, uh, the same weekend, he got an offer from Bama, and, uh, which is a big deal, especially in my community. But for Hugh Freeze to say, you know what, this is my guy, and I'm going to get him. And to be successful, now all, like, you take away everything from, like, the whole naysaying or does he know what he's doing and why would you not continue to recruit more quarterbacks? He called his shot and hit it. This is a huge deal for Auburn fans. I, I, I you, you can't understate the impact that this can have going forward for Auburn. Now you got your quarterback in the fold. Who else are you going to get? The quarterback is recruiting. The quarterback can't, comes out and rolls off almost like 13 names of guys that he wants to come play with him. And when they see the tape, they're going to say, he's a guy I want to play with. So nothing would do my heart more justice being a guy from the south side, as you see, or College Park, Georgia. 
to see the Iron Bowl in two or three years and to see Aaron Nolan versus uh, Walker White. Love to see it. Just because of, you know, my my attachment to where I'm from. But Hugh Freeze, you did your thing on that one, bro. Like, yeah, Lee, man. And it's been it's been a long time since you've seen Auburn get those type of guys. And Walker White will probably be a five star quarterback by the time it's over with. And uh for Hugh Freeze to go in and I think the part of this whole equation is White's mobility and size. He's not he's he's a really big guy. So if Hugh Freeze wants to run that power, that power read with the quarterback, and uh you got a guy who can hit the deep ball the way that Walker White can. I think there there's no there are no minuses right now. And hindsight is always 2020. But without revisionist history, just looking at what we have right now and the facts that we have, huge win for the Auburn Tigers. Huge.